Is it time to buy or sell Verizon stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Verizon. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, July 19, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since July 19, 2023, our system has ranked Verizon as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.70. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has had natural fluctuations, but currently sits at a loss of 0% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 7.63% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 14.73% and 0.553%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 14.46% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 20.92% and 5.69%. This translates to a price range of $26.86 to $35.90 after a year. Our latest daily update for Verizon includes the headline, Strong Day for Verizon Stock Price on Wednesday Rising 5.27% to $33.97. The Verizon Stock Price gained 5.27% on the last trading day, Wednesday, July 19, 2023, rising from $32.27 to $33.97. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.02% from a day low at $33.16 to a day high of $34.16. The price has fallen in 8 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 9.36% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 17 million shares and in total, 62 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.10 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $50.55, and the lowest price was $31.25. Currently, the price is 32.79%, or $16.58, below the 52-week high, and 45.4%, or $28.25, below the all-time high on December 20, 2019, when the price reached $62.22. Analysts have given Verizon stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Verizon. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Verizon stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $35.48. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $33.74. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, July 17, 2023, and so far it has risen 7.98%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. 
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, by signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 2 days ago. Short term moving average, by signal 2 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 6 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. The long term moving average, sell signal 65 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 90 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Verizon On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $32.27 and $31.46. With no support from accumulated volume below today's level the risk is increased, as a drop below the support at $31.46 may give a huge drop in the stock price. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1 between high and low, or 3.02%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.46%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Verizon, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P.E. ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 24, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Verizon. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Verizon is at $34.58. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Verizon encounters its first support level at $32.27. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Verizon from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 6, 2023, Venkatesh Vandana conducted an insider buy of 69,659 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. On July 6, 2023, Stillwell Mary Lee conducted an insider buy of 42,449 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. On July 6, 2023, Skiadas Anthony T. conducted an insider buy of 102,313 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. On July 6, 2023, Silliman Craig L. conducted an insider buy of 24,816 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. On July 6, 2023, Sumpath Samian Arayan conducted an insider buy of 156,734 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 8.471. Overall, insiders purchased 71,597 shares and sold 60,428 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $32.67, minus 3.82%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found two days ago. Is Verizon stock a good buy? Verizon holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. 
For trading on Thursday, July 20th, we expect Verizon to open down $0.207 and start trading at $33.76. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.